it was actually not too far off, so quite good in terms of giving you a estimation. Once over again, we'll take a look at the different sports and activities that you can track. So if I tap on more, you can find a selection of different uh, ones, again over 14. So the watch itself is rated to be IP68. You can take this into the shower, it will still survive, but it's not a 5 ATM rating. So I would be a bit more cautious of going into deeper waters with this. Now if I want to do a quick sports, it will start in 3 seconds and basically continuously track your heart rate step information and estimated speed, things like that, uh, over the entire session. And you can also connect to your phone and control the music from the watch once you are connected. Last but not least, the final page over is the Alexa assistant. What's the weather? It will process and take a few seconds to do that, and it'll say right now it's what the maximum temperature is and what the temperature tomorrow will be. So again, as long as you're connected to your phone using Bluetooth and your phone has access to the internet, it will be able to answer those questions, taking around, uh, I would say, 10 seconds or so for it to process. So it's not instantaneous, since the watch itself doesn't connect to Wi-Fi or the internet by itself, but still is a pretty neat feature. We can try something else like, what's a smartwatch? And as long as you're in a space where you're close by to the watch, you can see that it will pick up your voice really without too many problems. And you can read back text pretty easily on the watch just by scrolling along. It won't read it back out loud to you. And you also aren't able to answer calls directly from this unit, but still answering questions at a quick key is pretty neat. Now you can also trigger the assistant just by long holding on the crown key for a few seconds. That's another way that you can quickly access it if you don't want to go through the entire carousel to get to the assistant. So there is a quick launch command, which is pretty useful. Alternatively, if you tap on the crown key just one time, it will pull up the list of full applications. So you can take a look at your health data at a quick glance through the past 24 hours, number of times that you were active, and other things on here include the exercise records. So if there were any sessions that were saved earlier, you can see and review back your data and heart rate zone. For more complete data, of course, you can also also sync it over to the phone to look at that later on. Other things on here include blood oxygen monitoring. So the SpO2 monitoring, by the way, is not continuous or automatic, just like other smartwatches. So you have to manually begin it uh, compared to the heart rate, which is done for you, you know, 